Destiny Disrupted by Tamim Ansari. I wanted to sort of get across that Islam uh, is a social project. It's not just a religion. Um, when you think about Islam as one item in a group of items, you could think of it as, as, as the other items as being Christianity, Hindus, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism. That's the common way that we think of it. But you could also think of Islam, communism, parliamentary democracy. That also makes sense. And of course, Islamic civilization, Chinese civilization, Western civilization, that also is a, uh, a group of items that, that are parallel in category. Uh, so this theme of Islam as a social project, this idea that Islam is the attempt to um, uh, create a community on earth whose members will be harmonious because they will all be living their life according to these instructions that came from God. That is the, uh, one of the themes of Islamic history, and it's gone under, and it's come up, and it's been interpreted in various ways, but it's always there. Um, okay, so that's the, uh, the second point I wanted to make. And then the third point I wanted to reiterate, I feel like I hurried it a little last time, was that once uh, the Islamic world was kind of churned into impotence by uh, European colonialism. This happened right at the period of time when within Islam itself, if there had been no Europeans, there would still have been some kind of a, a re reformation in Islam. Uh, you know, its own dynamic had brought it to a place where people were, were questioning, is this really how it should go? Maybe these uh, uh, these scholars don't have the whole answer. Maybe we need to revive and, and rethink our religion. But this happened right in the period when there was European colonialism. And when you think about Islam as a social project, uh, you can see that the reformation in Islam took on uh, the character of, of being a political movement as well. Uh, there were, there were uh, the, the political response to European dominance uh, was also a theological question. Uh, the, uh, the political response to how come we're powerless was also uh, how, how we should, should we be rethinking our religion. So I, I said there were three reform directions, and one was the direction that said we have to get back to exactly the way they were doing it in the 8th uh, 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 century in the original Muslim community. And another middle way was to say, Islam is really the, uh, the right path, but we have made a big mistake in turning our back on Western science. So we've got to strengthen the old time religion, but we also have to uh, 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 you know, open up to modernistic scientific thinking. That was an Islamist sort of modernism. But then the third way was to say, um, well, Islam really is an ethical system, and uh, we have to uh, sort of get back the uh, get grow beyond the superstitious attitudes about our religion and and uh, and think of it more in terms of rules for proper living and 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 in our societies we should probably um, separate church from state and enlarge a secular realm where people can live without necessarily always thinking about how does this relate to religion uh, and throughout the Muslim world in the uh, 19th later 19th century and into most of the 20th century, in all of these different countries where the reform movements were going on, this, this third idea, this secular, uh, modernist kind of idea that was compatible with Western uh, thinking and with uh, you know, parliamentary democracy and all of these kinds of uh, uh, Western traditions, um, these became the dominant movements in all of these countries, and they were represented by the elites and the, and the people in power. So that's the, that's the background uh, that's really important to know in terms of what's happening now. Secular modernists in power, and therefore working with the uh, Western interests, often you know, colluding perhaps, and uh, the, the other uh, movements of reform end up being adopted by urban, working class, poor, and rural peasantry.